Hi, I'd just like to talk to you a little bit about a project that we're starting for next year. We're going to be doing another block of the day. We've been doing these for the last few years. We did a town and country quilt and we've done the daily dot quilt. And this year we've been working on the dapple a day quilt. And so next year, continuing in this tradition that we've started of doing blocks of the day, we're going to do a sketch of the day. So a sketch of the day is really just a fun little sketch or stitching or sketching um, of, with some fabric and some thread and I'm using the sewing machine to do a little sketch a day. So I haven't made the whole quilt yet, I'll be sketching along with you throughout the year. But here's a small sample of getting started. So we're just working on small pieces of fabric. So each one of these small pictures is a sketch. So you possibly can't see from there, but uh, some of my lines I'm doubling over my stitching. Some of them don't match up. I'm not particularly trying to. I'm wanting that slightly sketchy look. And it's all fused raw edge applique. And I'll talk a little bit about the fabric. So we'll be working on strips. So we're going to be using two and a half inch wide strips for our background strips. I'm also using two and a half inch wide strips to cut all my little applique shapes from. So the fabrics I'm using are going to be the Hoffman Barley Poppies and they come looking a little bit like this. They come in a variety of colours um, and they, what they consist of is 20 strips that are with the fabric two and a half inches wide. How convenient is that? And because they do quite a nice colour range, it's even better. So they do a couple of really nice light packs and so I'm using that for my backgrounds. As you can see, most of these are fairly pale behind the applique. I've also mixed in some of this one because there's quite a few lights and there's some darks. So I'll save the darks maybe for the border or binding or some of the applique or maybe another project. Um, so I've already cut some of my strips here. So you can see that I'm getting everything all ready to go for the sketch of the day. And then we're going to be using some thread. So because we're wanting that sketchy look where we're seeing a little bit of outline, I'm suggesting just one colour of thread. I'm using a dark sort of charcoal-y type dark grey for all of my stitching. I'm not changing colours because I want it to stand out. It's the kind of look that it is. So that's the thread I'm using. We've done the fabrics. We're going to need some fusible web. I suggest a paperback fusible web. As you can see, I've started tracing some designs on here. And this is a great opportunity to use up if you've got small amounts of fusible web left over. And these are some smaller pieces that I've got. Of course, if you need to go and buy some, that's a great idea, but often we have little bits and pieces. There's lots of little bits and pieces that we're going to be using. So think about using some of those up as well as maybe purchasing some nice fresh stuff. Um, so as you can see, I've done just a few more little shapes here. And you may also be able to see on these shapes that there's a little bit of colour being added. So this started out, this uh, rotary cutter shape, had a yellow handle and it's now got a little bit of green down one side and a little orangey colour down the other, for example. This one has this sort of orangey colour here, some mixed colours up here. This dress has got this green shading down here and some other little colours that are just blending in and so on. And this is because I'm doing some shading. So still coming back to that whole sketching idea, we're sketching with the stitching and we're also going to be using some pencils to give us some shading on there. So the pencils I'm using are Derwent Ink Tents. Now it's quite important that they are these because they don't, they're not regular pencils. They look like regular pencils. However, they're very well named. The lead in them is not a regular pencil lead. They are water soluble. It's actually an ink. It's a water soluble ink that's inside the pencils. They work just the same as watercolor pencils otherwise. But because it's an ink, when we add it to fabric and we add water to it, it, when it dries, it then becomes permanent. How exciting is that? So we can do some sketching with our stitching, no, it's stitching with our sketching, one of those things, shading with our pencils. And I'm just using a, a brush with some water in it. This is like an aqua brush in the handle. You can fill it up with water and it's just got a bristle on here like any other little paint brush. They come in different sizes, so just a medium size works really well. You don't need to have one of these specifically though. You can just use any paintbrush with water. That's really all we're doing with these pencils. Uh, regular watercolor pencils won't work the same. It does need to be the ink that's in, in there. Now these pencils are fairly readily available. Some quilting shops will 
um, will stock them. Also art supply shops. So I don't think you'd have too much trouble getting some of those if you don't already have some. You can do other things with the ink tents. You can use them with different mediums and do different things. But for us, this time we're just doing some shading and we're just using some water. Um, so that's the pencils and the shading. We've done the fabrics, we've done the threads. We're going to use some batting. Now I've used a fusible 80-20 uh, cotton poly batting because I like to use that. It's not essential that it be that one. I like it because my fabric will just press onto it. But uh, either way, I would suggest something that's fairly um, thin, low loft batting. A cotton works really well again because the fabric will grip quite nicely to it. So one of the reasons I'm using the batik fabrics is that for this sort of raw edge fused applique, they really don't fray so much. So I find them excellent for this type of work. Um, some of the other cotton fabrics, they can just fray a little bit more than you want them to when you're leaving the edges raw. So that's why the batiks. Now, if you're interested in doing this project, it starts early January, it goes for the whole year. Yes, there's going to be 365 little sketches to do. And really, look how small they are. You could do more than one a day if you really wanted to. I just thought it was a fun little thing to do. The pictures will not be related to one another. They really are just little sketches of just anything that comes to my mind at the time. Um, as I mentioned, I'm going to be doing it with you all next year. So that'll be exciting to see what happens along the way. I suggest you get a, a folder to keep all your pattern notes in. The pattern is downloadable. You need to go to my website, gourmetquilter.com and sign up for the Sketch a Day Block of the Day 2019. And then you, the pattern will start coming to you early January um, and it's downloadable. So each week we're going to send out seven little block patterns, so seven little sketches, and everything will be ready for you to trace so that you can cut out your fabrics, iron it on. We're going to be putting the quilt together um, as a row by row. Um, I'm also going to be suggesting later on if you want to add borders or not. This, uh, this um, paperwork that I've got in the folder so far here um, is just what you get as the requirement. So if you've already signed up, you've probably got that. If you haven't signed up yet, and when you do sign up, you'll receive the requirements list. As I mentioned, we're starting early January, going for the whole year next year. Um, so we're just going to be working on strips. So we're going to be working on strips of fabric, using strips of fabric, on strips of batting. And we'll be, we'll be making a row per month, basically. And then we'll be putting those together in a quilt as you go. So it'll be quilt a row as you go when we've done a whole row. Well, we'll need more than one row to be able to join it to the next row. However, all those instructions will come. I'll be doing another video showing you how to get started, how to start doing some of the shading with the ink tents, pencils. Um, some of the information that you're going to need will come as we get started. So other than that, please do join us. We'll have a Facebook group so that you can meet other quilters who are sketching along as well. We get people from all around the world, so it's kind of fun to meet and chat and share what we're doing. We might uh, do a little bit of personalization, so that's always nice to share as well. So please do join us for Sketch of, Sketch of the Day 2019 through gourmetquilter.com. Thank you.